What a lovely view to wake up to in the morning, ain't it, Uggs? It is, very nice. Oh, there's a blackbird on the beach. Yeah, you can see it rained in the night. Hammered down, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's supposed to be nice again today. Meant to be clearing, luckily. Look what Mr. B is having for breakfast. Leftover Thai green curry I made last night. Disgusting, any man. Mm. Nine o'clock in the morning. Bit late. Funny. Microwave breakfast. And guess what? It ain't cornflakes. <laughs> yeah, but it's still curry a bloody weird, eh? Curry? Cornflakes? Curry? Cornflakes? Ooh. Yeah. Curry sounds better. Okay, if you say so. You have pizza for breakfast and all. Ah, oh, pizza's nice. For God, I can smell that. It smells quite nice, but not for me breakfast. Get acid, man. Acid. Yeah, acid. acid. <laughs> well, Mr. B. Yes. Is it nice? Very, very nice. Good. Yes, I find things taste better the next day when it's been warmed up. I know like you do. Flakes. <laughs> but do you know what? If you just stuck that between two pieces of bread. Oh, no, that's disgusting. Could have been another club sandwich video. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't wasting my time doing bread with this. Too nice to put on bread. How oh, is it? Oh, God. Anything goes on bread, man? It does. Cornflakes? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But roast potatoes, ask Sam. Oh yeah, roast potatoes. Roast potato with sandwich. Gravy. No, you don't have gravy. You just have the roast. No, you just have the roast potato. No. You ma no, you're wrong. You put the roast potato on. You mash it up a bit on the bread. Potato mashed. Debate. Mashed potato. No, roast potato on bread with or without gravy. Yeah, without. With. Bye bye, lovely view. We're moving on. We've moved on. Well, we're moving on. And as long as we can park, it's two miles up the road. And we're just by the village of Corrie. As in Corrie. Oh no, they ain't scouts, are they? As in a very short goth lady just walked past who looked about 65. <laughs> right, as I was saying, we're in the village of Corrie. We've parked right opposite the Corrie and Sanox village hall. It's like a bit of a gravelly lie boy. Don't know if we meant to, but it don't say you can't. I don't know if you can see all the rocks on the beach here are like a sandstone colour. And we're walking down to Sheep Harbour Cleats. Don't know what that means. Just the name of it. Don't know why. Might try and Google it. Or maybe somebody knows. <laughs> Jellyfish in the water there. So clear the water is.
So that one was a bar bar black sheep. And then there's two white ones here. Mad in it. Mad book quirky and cool. Mr. B's waiting over there if you can see him. He's waving. And the water is just so clear. Absolutely beautiful. Shame the sun's not shining, but you can't have it all. We just spotted this seal on the rock. So we pulled over quick and Carl took some photos. And you know what? It's pretend. Got in, man. We've just pulled up in a lie boy. Try and walk down to a little harbour we saw. But we've got to walk along the road. Hopefully, we can do it. Not too bad so far. We've only seen one car. So, hopefully, we'll be alright. Nice scenery though. I like the colour of the water on the Ayrshire coast. It's like a grey blue. Really nice. Even on a day like today where it's a bit dull. Just on the bridge is a wood carving shop so we reckon they're the ones who made that wooden seal on the rock. We've ended up back in Corrie and we are sat outside the Corrie Hotel which is also a public bar. Look at that for a view to sit and have a drink. Carl's gone to get us a hot chockey from there. Or if not, a Malibu and Diet Coke. Got our hot chockies, ain't we, Uggs? Yum, 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 yum. Nice, ain't they? Very chockey. And what you can't see off screen is Nucky Bear scavenging. Because you got them Biscoff biscuits with it, and obviously I can't eat them, so yeah. Nucky had mine. Yeah. And then Nucky had yours, didn't he? No, I had, he had half mine. Oh, you did eat half of, of it then? Yeah. But said it was nice in there, didn't you? I did, yeah. Nice, nice place. Very yeah. light, very helpful, very clean, very but, posh. Yeah, unlike the other people who were in there, but we won't go there. Tourist. Yeah, arrogant and rude. Yep. Probably English. <laughs> but you think, you know, you go to a place where you don't, you don't want to be like that, you know what I mean? It's just putting the bad no. examples to everyone in the It's only just... joking. Not all English people are rude and ignorant. Yeah. You get rude and ignorant people in all they societies. Were. Yeah, unfortunately. Just ignore them and carry on. Yeah, do all you can do. Yep. Yeah. 
we've come to North Glen Sanox going towards the top of the island and look at this how beautiful is this place kids playing in it over there with the mom supervising but it is gorgeous size of the landscape was formed through the ice age and wind and rain and farming and then it was depopulated and left for the wildlife to take over it's meant to be golden eagle here we haven't seen any hopefully we will but what a beautiful place This is such a beautiful place, I've probably already said that. What, what an amazing place with amazing scenery. Just stunning. We've come to La Carranza. That's how you pronounce it. Man going out on a boat. Lovely here. But I'm going to end this video here. See you on the next one.